as we seek a new national security strategy that uses all elements of American power. We must also remember those who run the greatest risks and make the greatest sacrifices to implement that strategy, namely the men and women who wear the uniform of the United States of America. Even as I speak, they are serving brilliantly and bravely in Iraq, Afghanistan, and around the world. And we must show them and their families the same devotion that they have shown this country. The servicemen and women who embody what's best about America should get the best care we have to offer. And that is what I will provide when I am President. And in this struggling economy, we also have to do more to ensure that when our troops come home and leave the service, they can find jobs that pay well, provide good benefits, receive appropriate health care, and are able to support their families. We don't just need to better serve veterans of today's wars. We need to build a 21st century VA that will better serve all who've answered our nation's call. That means cutting red tape and easing transition into civilian life. It means eliminating shortfalls, fully funding VA health care, and providing the benefits our veterans have earned. That's the kind of VA that will serve our veterans as well as they have served us. And there is no one more distinguished, more determined, or more qualified to build this VA than the leader I'm announcing as our next Secretary of Veterans Affairs, General Eric Shinseki. Veterans who have served in Iraq and Afghanistan in particular are confronting serious, severe wounds, some seen, some unseen, making it difficult for them to get on with their lives in this struggling economy. They deserve a smooth, error-free, no-fail, benefits-assured transition into our ranks as veterans, and that is our responsibility, not theirs.